In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, the similar versus congruent triangles. And we're going to start with figures first on this page and then get into more specific uh, uh, definitions and descriptions in the second and third page. So we're, first of all, we're going to talk about these uh, images uh, of the Polar Express here. So if you look at the first two, image one and image two, they are exactly the same size. Okay, so image one and two are exactly the same size. So if things are exactly the same size and shape, they're said to be congruent. So congruent figures are exactly the same shape and the same size. Now if we compare images two and three, or I could have said one and three, it didn't matter, doesn't matter. So images two and three, uh, uh, number three is a smaller version of image two. We could say it's reduction, or we could say image two is an enlar enlargement compared to three. So it's a smaller version of image two. So these are similar figures. Similar figures are the same shape, but usually different sizes. Now I say usually, we could actually say that these are similar, but it's more it, te it gives more information if we say they're congruent. Okay, If we say these two images in 1 and 2 are congruent, then we're also saying they are exactly the same size. So similar figures are the same shape, but they're usually different size. Not always, but usually. Um, but congruent figures have to be exactly the same shape and size. So some more specific definitions, we're going to talk about triangles specifically on this page and the next one. So we've got these three triangles, uh, ABC, DEF, and GHI. ABC and DEF are exactly the same size. GH is bigger than ABC or DEF. In fact, I tried to draw it so that uh, the sides here are double the sides here. Um, it's pretty close. I, I didn't make sure that it was exactly like that, but I will refer to that in part of this example. So if I write uh, triangle ABC, and this little squiggle uh, is stands for is similar to uh, GHI. So that states that those two triangles are similar. That's how you write it mathematically. So just like on the previous page, similar triangles are the same shape. That means that every angle in one triangle has an exactly equal corresponding angle in the second. And the ratios of the corresponding sides is constant, and I'll talk about that. Now, when I write triangle ABC is similar to triangle GHI, that's called the similarity relationship. And I talk about the order of that more on the next page than this, but you might start inferring what I'm talking about as we proceed through the rest of this page. So there's equal angle pairs. So in these triangles, uh, angle A and angle G are equal. Notice first letter, first letter. Angle B and angle H, this angle and this angle would be equal. And also angle C and angle I would be equal as well. The relationship between the sides. So the relationship between the sides, side AB matches up with GH. And so we write the, it's called the ratios of the sides. So the ratio of how long AB is to GH would be in the same ratio as BC to HI because they correspond. And that the ratio of those two sides would be the same as the ratio of AC to GI. They're both on the bottoms of the triangles. So for example, Let's say, and I, I, I mentioned a moment ago, I tried to draw this so that the sides in this one are double the sides in that one. So let's say they were exactly double. So let's say GH was exactly twice as long as AB. So if GH is twice as long as AB, then that would mean that the HI side over here is twice as long as the BC side. And the GI, the GI side on the bottom, is twice as long as AC. So that's what I mean by the rate relationship between the sides, the proportions between the sides. The ratio of AB to GH is the same as BC to HI is the same as AC to GI. This ratio, if I write it out, this would actually be equal to 1 to 2. For every one part on the smaller triangle, it's twice as much in the second. Okay, so 
uh, that would actually be the ratio between the sides, which means that these sides are double these sides because 2 is double 1. Now this statement here, this um, equal sign with the same tilde above it, that's the symbol for congruence. So that says that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So that's the congruency statement. And congruent triangles are the same shape and exactly the same size. So there are equal angle pairs, just like in similar triangles. Um, and angle A and angle A and angle D would be equal. Angle B and E would be equal. This one and this one would be equal. And also angle C and angle F would be equal. Also, there's uh, now so there's not ratios of si well we could actually talk about ratios of sides, but in congruent triangles, if they're the, exactly the same sides, then there's not just proportions between these; they're actually equal. So uh, AB and DE are equal, BC and EF are equal, and also AC and DF are equal. So um, the angles part's the same between congruent and similar. Um, the what's different is the lengths of the sides. In congruent, in congruent figures, uh, the corresponding sides are exactly equal. In similar, they're in the same proportion. So uh, I referred to this a moment ago, and you may be getting this already, but I want to state this explicitly because it is pretty important. And I, I'm using a similar triangle example here. Um, it um, it would be similar, no pun intended, if we were talking about congruent triangles. So uh, the order you write the ABC and GHI is very important. So the A and G here are the first letters in both, and so that means that angle A and angle G are a pair of equal angles. The second letters are the B and H, and so that means that angle B and angle H are equal. And the third letters are C and I, so that means that angle C and angle I are equal. Okay, so same for if they were congruent instead of similar triangles. Now the relationship between the sides. So in this triangle, the AB are the first and second letters, and the GH are the first and second letters. So that means that AB corresponds to GH. So when I write the relationship between the sides, AB would be, uh, be corresponding to GH. The B and C are the second and third letters, and so are the H and I. So that means that BC corresponds to HI. So BC corresponds to HI. And then lastly, A and C are the first and third letters. G and H are the G and I, sorry, are the first and third letters. So AC and GI match up or correspond. And so that's why that's the other part of the uh, proportion. And that's the end of the tutorial.